Hello everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Donna. Today we are going to be making, um, I'm going to make some little, like little Salisbury stick meatballs to put over some, some mashed potatoes, some good old comfort food with some gravy and some nice creamy mashed potatoes and I'm not sure what side of vegetables we're going to have with it yet or maybe even a salad, I'm not quite sure yet, but I wanted to jump on as always and share this with you all and uh, hopefully it'll become a favorite of yours you know there's so many different ways of making Salisbury steaks as we all know but this is one of mine I, I do them several different ways as well but we're going to start out with a pound and a half of ground chuck this is what I use now if you use hamburger your texture will come out different but that's totally up to you that's fine but I use ground chuck okay and into the ground chuck, I'm going to be adding in one egg. One egg. I should have had this beaten up already. Let me get this egg here. Let me get me a fork to beat it up. Just slightly beaten egg. Now that's one. One slightly beaten egg. That just helps mix through, mix it through easier instead of throwing that whole egg in there. Alright. And then to that, we're going to be adding in one teaspoon of ground mustard. One teaspoon. If you don't have it, Leave it out. Get this out of the way. Okay. I have two tablespoons <clears throat> of the Lipton. I normally use the beefy onion, but I didn't have any, so we're going with this one today. Okay, and we're going to use not the whole pack, just two tablespoons. And when you go to dip your tablespoon into the packet, kind of move that packet around stir it up because all your onions will be settled on top and you do want to get some of that bullion that's in there so kind of stir it up with your tablespoon as you're grabbing some to get some of that bullion in there because that's also a big part of your salt in your meatball and if you don't have it you know you can use beef bullion you know start out with a couple of teaspoons of it and maybe a good tablespoon of dried onion but we're going to be using that and some fresh onion they just work together. All right, so I got two tablespoons of that, like I said, from an envelope. Start up. I have a quarter teaspoon <clears throat> of salt. I have two teaspoons of soy sauce. Now, <clears throat> with your onion, you want to really, really mince it. You don't want it, you know, real big. You want it really, really finely minced onion. Okay? And that's a quarter of a cup. Finely minced onion. And a half a cup of uh, regular old breadcrumbs. <clears throat> that's one half cup. And we're just going to mix. Try not to, to over mix, but you want to get it all mixed up. And we're going to form this into clean hands, guys. <clears throat> Boy, <clears throat> excuse me, my allergies are really starting to kick in here. But uh, we'll just get this mixed up and get them into little balls, little bite-sized meatballs. And get you a teaspoon of butter. And get it melted in a, a pretty big size frying pan. Okay. Now, depending on how big your bite is, like I said, just roll your meatballs into some little circles by hand. Or you can use your little, um, if you have them, the little melon scoops or ice cream little, the little tiny ones. But just bite size. And you're going to fry these. Now, if it seems like your pan is, uh, just too small 
just fry them in batches. You want to get them golden brown all the way around. And you do want to fry them and not bake them because all of the yum yums that come from the meatball are in the pan. And this is where our, we're going to make our gravy. So we need all the, that crusty goodness from those meatballs frying. So do fry them up and just get them fried up in batches if you have to. I have a pretty good size skillet. I normally get them all in here, but I'm going to fry them on each side. Just gently tossing, not tossing, but, you know, turning them and fry them probably 10 to 12 minutes. Get them nice and golden brown because we want these really brown because that's going to give us a lot of flavor. Okay, so I'm going to get these fried up. Okay, I got me a good pan size full of these meatballs here. And what you see how nice and brown those get? That's what you want to do. And just, you know, be gentle with them. They don't fall apart real easy, which is good. And just get them brown, nice and seared on each side. However fast you're going to... You don't want to fry them too high. I have mine on medium. Um, and it's best, for sure, to do these in a non-stick pan. But I wanted to get on here and show y'all. We'll finish them up. Okay, <clears throat> I got my meatballs done. Now, we're not cooking them. To, you know cook them all the way through because they're gonna cook in the gravy so there though those are okay now I'm gonna empty this oil or grease that came off of these and we're gonna add in some uh, melted butter here okay one second. Wipe my pan off here. Okay. Now I'm going to add in four tablespoons of butter. Okay. And as we know, comfort food is high calorie. Let me find my. Okay. All right. Get this melted. Now to this, I'm going to add in a half a cup of finely minced onions once again. This is a half a cup of finely minced onion. It's a pretty small onion I diced up. And we're going to cook these till they almost caramelize. Okay, so just keep an eye on them. And just cook them until they start to brown. That could take some time. Now, while those are cooking, over here in my other pan, I have five and a half cups, depending on how well you pack your flour, how thick your gravy is going to be. If your gravy gets too thick, just add some more water. Thin it out to the consistency you like. But I have five and a half cups, give or take, I may add some more. But um, in here I have my five and a half cups of beef broth, or you can do five and a half cups of water and add you some beef bouillon. I have one teaspoon, you can go with one half teaspoon to one teaspoon of your browning sauce. And I, I use one teaspoon. Just depends on what color I'm looking for. We eat with our eyes first, right? And I have a quarter of a teaspoon of um, uh, smoked paprika in here. And two teaspoons more of soy sauce. That's all in here. Just get these onions. Ooh, they smell good. We all know what fried onions smell like. And then in butter. Okay, we're going to let those go. Alright, they're starting to brown. Now to that, I'm going to add in five tablespoons of flour. Five tablespoons of flour. We're just going to cook this here just for 
a few minutes to get that raw flour taste out. And then we'll add that beef broth in here and then we'll return the meatballs and let them cook for half hour or so. Just let this cook about two minutes. All right, that's been going for a few minutes. Now I have my my beef stock and and all of my other ingredients that I have added to the beef stock on warm on the other burner here. So we're gonna get this and now your beef stock, y'all. You um, I would suggest using um can you guys see using uh um i'll get it out low salt that way you control your salt in here because if you go full on full on beef broth like i did it may be too salty for you but for me it's just right because you can always add salt as that old saying goes can't take it out so we're going to bring this to a boil and we'll see how thick it is now if it looks too thick I'll just add a little bit more um, low sodium beef broth if that's what you're using or a little bit more just a little water but I'm going to bring it to a boil and this is where you'll take don't want well, no this is not where you you're, you're going to taste it for salt at the end actually because you have your your salt coming out of your meatball as well that's going to cook in this gravy so if you taste it here and think oh it needs more salt i wouldn't suggest it because there's some salt going to cook out of that meatball into this gravy so just kind of hang on till the end but i'll just let this thicken and we'll get those meatballs in there okay now <clears throat> we're going to drop our meatballs back in here now you can wait till this comes to a boil. That way you can see how thick it's going to be. But I already know, you know, how mine comes out. So it's fixing to boil here anyway. But turn it down after it comes to that boil. Now, like I said, you can um, add uh, more stock to it if it gets too thick. Or if it looks too thin at the end of cooking. Just keep cooking it. It'll reduce and it'll thicken up. Like I said, don't salt it to the end, please. I don't want you to over salt your food that you put all that hard work in. And so now I'm just gonna cook this, y'all. I'm gonna get my meatballs in. I'm gonna let it cook in the gravy for at least a good half hour. And then we'll get that over some nice hot mashed potatoes. Now I do have a mashed potato, uh, creamy mashed potatoes on my channel. If you want to go ahead and go look at that or you can also have this over some white rice some egg noodles you know just as good your choice but we'll be back guys I almost forgot to mention for those who are not I have it on a medium boil not a, not a hard boil covered for a half hour and add black pepper if you'd like okay I'm on my last 15 minutes of cooking or so it's approximate time and with my lid on i'm trapping too much water so i'm going to take it off so it can thicken and i'm going to do a medium boil and it you know sometimes to be honest i'll cook this a good hour to get my meatballs in nice and tender and i'll just barely let it cook real slow it's even better that way but press for time today everybody's hungry so and i went ahead and added another half teaspoon of my browning seasoning because i like a deeper rich color it just looks more appealing to me makes it taste better but anyways we think it does right like I said we eat with our eyes but this is going to thicken up within the next 15 minutes probably just about how I want it and if it's not I'm going to let it keep cooking until it does thicken okay all right there they are guys mine cooked 45 minutes just because I wanted my gravy you know a little bit thicker and I turned it down so it took longer so they'd simmer longer get a little bit more tender more flavor but um there they are in uh, it's, it's delicious it's, it's it's comforting food if you like beef and you like gravy and mashed taters and definitely a southern dish 
Isn't that good, guys? And it really is delicious. But at the end, that's where you would put more beef stock or, or bullion or salt, whatever you want in it. Just taste it, you know. And you got lots of uh, leftover gravy for your potatoes or your rice or your noodles, whatever you'd like to put on it. And, and it makes quite a bit, you know, it is a, a pound and a half. But I wanted to get on and share that with you guys. But uh, go ahead and make you some up. Let me know what you think. And you guys stay blessed. Stay safe, stay healthy, and eat well, and take care of yourself, and we will see you guys later. Enjoy the dish, and please subscribe. Support my channel, guys. Thank you.